Hello there and welcome back to yet a, another episode. So, right now we are going through a drought which is about 8 days long. Yes, it was 8 days long. I let the game run just for a little bit to see what we really want to do in the colony and kind of see the impacts of the drought as well. So fortunately, with this super sophisticated double floodgate system that we have throughout this river, we've kind of managed to keep the um keep some uh, drinking water for our babies so what it was i think about five days ago or so we were sitting at about 1500 water and with only those three pumps running we've been managing to sustain a colony of 114 beavers um <laughs> so yeah i mean i did have to pause pretty much all of those breeding pods over here and um i'd like to mm, i see so that's where this water has gone as well. Totally forgot about you. Not to worry. Anyways, yeah, so three pumps and this uh, sort of lock system allowed us to keep some more water in here. I mean, um, yeah, I guess I could have also kind of like just keep the middle bits open here and, and this one. Uh, so it's all one uh, linked uh, system in here, but just for added extra bit of security, I, I like to have them in sections. You'll never know. Okay, so in this episode, what we are doing now, we're building a bit of a link across the uh, little river systems that we have over here. And uh, as promised in the previous episode, we are starting to build up a bit of extra storage for the water as well. Right now, these are only the triple floodgates, but very soon, let's have a look over here. So the uh, metal ones, yeah, we could go up to 10 levels, but it's 7.2 thousand science points so um no way we're gonna be able to use any of those although they would be lovely oh yeah 10 levels nine and i mean eight would be a good start but right now yep let's just do some levies and that's gonna help uh, keep this area a bit more green as well and if we really have to we could probably just you know delete the whole column over here and and we would be fine Okay, other things we are doing over here. I've quickly built a forester and we're planting some mangroves over here. Whilst we're trying to figure out what to do with this zone, I do like this area quite a bit. And um, I think very soon, once they have taken out all those logs, which I think is, mm, yeah, almost now, uh, we will be uh, delinking this section over here. And uh, yeah, I just want to. I think now is the time to start uh, focusing on the aesthetics a bit more as well. Now that we do have a sort of solid foundation for the food. And uh, I suppose for the water as well. Let me just speed it up a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I've got this link over here. And I want to follow the contour lines of the mountains. And uh, I don't know, maybe if it's possible, try and make it as realistic as possible. We'll have like like main uh, kind of beaver highways over here but then we'll also have like side alleys one-way roads where um it's yeah yeah like this one here where it's a dead end it's not the most efficient way right now for these beavers to go back home however you know this is how those roads were developed maybe not going over those mountains but anyways that's gonna be a district in itself or by itself as well here is probably where we want to do some uh, water pumps Let's have a look and then uh, yeah as we talked about in the last episode as well I do want to have like a central trading island over here kind of like uh, yeah maybe some beavers that used to run between the colonies uh, decided to create their all own little village over here and then take control of the trading routes as well so that's our plans hold on there was a one more thing so yeah this section is working just as we in intended as well Oh yeah, here we go. We've uh, put down a few levees and the reason for that is I'd like to start um, <laughs> taking advantage of some of those underground uh, ruins over here. We've got an efficient mine. That's 4,000 science. Some 3D planks, gears. Oh, that's a lot of gears. Logs is the easiest. I mean, I suppose the gears we can do fairly quickly as well. We'll probably have to start doing some more. And then three the planks as well. Well, okay. That's uh, that's one of our goals. Whilst we expand the new districts over here. You don't seem to have anything to do. Why don't you come and plant stuff in here? Oh, that's because it's dry over there. 
Okay, that's fine. We could probably pause you. I mean, there's 16 spare beavers, so there isn't a lot of other things you can be doing right now. Um, yeah, okay, so, um, oh, this is another thing I'd like to develop over here. Let's put a staircase here, and a uh, few levees, they're gonna go in here, and we'll turn this into a bit of a pond so we can green up a bit more of this area. Why aren't you, oh, it's a bit too far, fine, we'll put some roads down. Hopefully it is now all in range, yes it is. And here we go. Finally, the drought has ended. Is any everything... Not anything. Is everything opened up now? Yes, it does seem like so. All the water pumps are now running. And I believe it is a good time to unpause all of those breeding pods as well. We don't want to have a big sort of death wave or a birth wave either, but... I think, uh, okay, we'll, uh, we'll space them out just, uh, just a tiny bit. Okay, still nine spare beavers. It would be great to have some more haulers as well. This one is pretty, uh, pretty full. We have a spot, lovely one, just like so. And, uh, oh yeah, we added a couple of flags here as well, just to, you know, take, uh, take a few more, more ruins from here as quick as we can. Let's have a progression over here. Things are going up. I was afraid that some of those beavers might get stuck, but it seems things are a-okay. Oh, right. They won't be able to build this up all the way now, will they? Uh, this one's almost done. Oh, yeah. Let's give you a slightly higher priority. There we go. And then everything else is looking uh, pretty, pretty good over here. Oh, yeah. You're not going to be able to climb through. Hmm. We're going to have to pause these guys. Then getting across. Oh yeah, this is where I'd like to do a bit of a crossing area. And maybe a few like... Um, uh, what you call them again? The large water wheels. This would be lovely to have somewhere around here. And then a bit of a wonky road going or cutting through the forest as well. Maybe we'll just cut through the outskirts of the, the fertile area. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see once the water levels are up how lovely this zone is going to be. Oh, very interesting. This area has completely dried up. So what are we hoping up this fluid pump over here? Oh dear. It's all tied so quickly. That was a little bit too quick for us to react, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> well, I believe we... No, we don't have a lot of canola oil, but we do have quite a bit of canola in here. So that's uh, that's okay. We'll let you run for a little bit and um, let's just plant new ones. How long does it take for you to grow? Only nine days. Um, yeah, that, that's quite a few days, but it's all right. All right, so let's figure out a uh, road that's going to cross through the farmlands as well. I think our farmlands will run about maybe like around here. This seems like a good and solid block to have it. This could be like the the district entrance. Okay, we'll have another road cut through here. A few power wheels to give us some uh, some water or the water wheels. And uh, okay, so that's a pretty straight uh, stretch over here. And we'll do like um, let's have a look. How far? If this is another point of entry, will it? Yeah, it's kind of coming straight through there. And then a little bit closer. This should be uh, should be pretty pretty good. We'll cut through here, down a little bit, this way. Maybe just a little bit more, a bit more wonky over here. And then we should enter. I feel from here. Okay, maybe we don't have to destroy everything. I mean, we've got tons of logs, but what would be cool if we just harvest this area? Do beavers to start? devouring this zone again. Are we ready to turn this into a independent zone? No, I don't think so. Once we get these roads in, we're gonna create some platforms that will go out into the big old lake like so. I think we'll go straight to the middle where it's the deepest sections. And this is where we can start doing some water pumps. 
Okay, the first at the corner here will be some water barrels. We'll have one over there. And that should be a pretty a pretty good start. And then three water pumps. Okay, roads to connect you up as well. And just make sure they harvest all this stuff from here. Okay, now you can probably be unpaused again. What is your problem? Are you... Are you flooded? Oh, yes it is. Okay, interesting. You dropped down. You're at 1.0. What about these guys? Okay, 1.0 as well. Oh, sorry, I mean uh, 0.0, .0, so that's good. Don't know if it's just because we... The drought just ended. But no, it's been a couple of days. This one here is fine. There's a whole lot of water. I mean, it could also be because there's... We were sort of building this up over here. At least the beavers are safe. Now, I didn't actually pay attention to the notifications. I'm not sure if they're uh, safe or they might have expired. Uh, who knows? Now, uh, water... Maybe we need to allow a couple more days. But it doesn't look like it's been building up very nicely. I think we are consuming, or our consumption is still pretty high. Okay, not to worry. What we can do here, let's do a quick little fix. Okay, we can run four pumps on one side and a couple more on the other side as well. Yep, we're going to turn this into a bit of a factory. I don't want this to be a permanent solution, of course. Uh, eight extra ones, but for the for the time being, whilst we are building up our stockpiles, it, it's good to have a few spare ones. And since it is a very volatile area, yeah, pretty crazy water flows over here. And this one as well. And then we'll do a few pumps here as well. Hopefully it's going to help manage the situation a little bit better. Okay, fewer roads can be can be done already. And then uh, it would be lovely to bring these guys closer as well. A couple more things we want to do is, although our stockpiles for the blank seem to be quite healthy, I mean, we only had two of the stations over here. Uh, yeah, so that is 100% something we want to improve here as well. So a few more platforms, uh, just like so, will set you to planks and the top one as well. So the next thing we should really construct or start constructing is probably... Hold well on, let's uh, grab a few houses. We'll do the taller one the first. Oh, we can't do the other one, so we have to be... Yeah, I think we can only do one, so here you go. Um, right, more houses and uh, well-being. I suppose we are going to have to fill this gap in here and... <laughs> bigger house could go here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we are going to be able to build anything lovely in here. So let's uh, let's just yeah do a couple of houses, not to worry. Their uh, rooftop bars would be cool to have a another view over here. But I guess we could do stairs. Yeah, let's do some stairs uh, just like so. Can we grab it? Maybe not. And one and two. Now we just need to change a couple things here. A few platforms, one over here. I am very sorry. I'm sure we'll figure out some better options for decorations around here. Let's take this platform out as well. We'll put a slightly taller one. Okay, now one and a two. Control click, connect the roads up, and voila. That is a whole massive network of different uh, rooftop bars. We'll mix it up with different houses here as well, like like this one here. Should we put new next? Mm, no, let's... Uh, we'll cut this just like so. There we go. And you guys should prioritize all of this. All right, so what we would also like to do in here, because it seems the flooding is... Yet again, a bit of an issue. Let's uh, drop the flood gate a little more. See if it fixes it. Oh, yes, it does. Someone has fallen asleep here because they are a bit exhausted. Um, right, right, right. So uh, since we are going to have this as a separate district, we have sorted out the food. They, they should be definitely fine over here. We've got a bit of power as well. That should be fine. We can gather some logs. 
Okay, now the next thing is, oh yeah, water is sorted too. Uh, I do have to change this up a little bit actually. Yeah, let's just uh, delete you real quick. As we said before, everything... Uh, hold on a second. We're doing water over here, aren't we? And this is not high enough. This should be... Hmm. Okay, so maybe we leave the platforms the way they are right now. But everything else over here does have to go a little bit higher now, doesn't it? Okay. And then we'll get the... What was the first thing we needed? You're going to go over here. We'll do a set of stairs. Hopefully no one's going to get stuck, but we know how our beavers are. And then we have a few bumps as well. We'll grab a road, connect you up, and voila. Okay, it is going to have to be a little bit higher because otherwise it's all going to be flooded, isn't it? Now, housing units. So if these are farms over here, I'd like to have the houses like by the water. I have a feeling we might change the road layout just a little bit. And we're getting the last three out as well, so cool. Okay. We would like to delete all of this from here. Same goes for the roads. And give me a second. Let me just plan something out real quick. And then we'll we'll have a look around. All right. So it's taken us a little bit of time to come up with a bit of a living arrangement for the for the beavers. And I think it's uh, going to look pretty, pretty lovely. So why don't we take a quick look? So yeah, I want to keep as much greenery as we can. So on the corner, we're going to try and see what some of those lanterns look like at night. Then, uh, yeah, we'll have to plant a few more trees over here. We'll have a fence that goes around the houses. Of course, the houses themselves have to be on the stilts. So, um, yeah, we've got the, the row house and a large row house over here with some roofing as well. And then a uh, little gated community. This one uh, seems to be a bit more posh, I guess. So a few more uh, row houses with the, with the roofs. But these guys also have their own relaxation area with some benches, some more decorations. And um, this lovely little lantern over here that sort of shines its way or, or light on the, the private pier that these guys have access to as well. So uh, yeah, this area should be uh, should be pretty pretty lovely once it gets built. I think something we will probably struggle with is getting those roofs in place. But um, yeah, I'm sure we can fix this. All we have to do is just take out those roads for a little bit, and then. Um, Let's have a look. One, two. That should be enough, right? Or this might be a little bit higher. Oh, no. Okay, we'll do one at a time. Wouldn't it not be easier? No, it's fine. We've, we've got the time and the resources to build stuff. So, um, yeah, let's do it over here. And same with you guys as well. No one's going to live here at the start anyways. I guess we are going to have to make... Oh, yeah, do it this way. And that one, and then we can do another ladder just like so. I've paused a few fences over here because I think we are going to need... Where is the forest? Uh, we're going to need to plant a few extra trees. Is this a good location? I hope it is. A little bit out of range. What about you? Uh, same with you as well. Okay, I suppose we can always do one over here. Maybe... We don't need this one actually let's just yeah have this one for the time being and we'll try and construct it up okay you guys are thirsty why is that so we should have water right over here uh there might be haulers um build this out oh never mind there are construction beavers okay this reminds me a another thing as well we wanted to wanted to have a bit more well-being i mean these guys they are going to be the pioneers, so they might not have as much or as high well-being as the, the beavers in the main colony. But it is worth checking real quick. Let's uh, open this up. So fermented mushrooms, we don't have corn rations. I guess we are going to have to build another one of those buildings. We do have eggplant, which is great. Coffee, uh, I suppose we could go into this. Campfire, we've got tons of them, but... Maybe they just don't have enough time. Roofs, lanterns, we can improve this as well. Monuments, I don't think we're ready. Okay, maybe a bit more fun stuff. Well-being, we've got these ones already. Decontamination, this scrubber seems to be an okay thing to build. Where can you guys scrub yourselves? Okay, so if the food is over here, we're good to... There might be another row here, actually. Let's, uh, oh yeah. Unlock it. 
build a view. High priority. How many do we need? I guess we'll put a few more over here as well. Make sure everyone can scrub their backs. Uh, next one on well-being is a swimming pool. I suppose this could be the area or hmm, everything else with water is a little further away. Let me just slow down the time. Okay, so the river seems to be a bit better now. I'm surprised it's not flooding actually. Maybe it's starting to build up. No, it's not. And you guys, okay, never mind. Let's just uh, leave them be. We were talking about the the swimming pool. Um, <laughs> we could do it over here. That, I guess, is the closest. But hmm, this would be the best one, isn't it? You are fairly chunky. Maybe this one here as well, but the trees are in the way. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm, I might be a little bit blind. Maybe over here. Okay, we could do and use this spot in here. This means we are going to have to do a few fixes though. Let's try and do it as quick as we can. We got some stairs here already, which is great. So you can go there. We've not had the time to build up anything in here. So what are those guys doing? I mean, that's the lowest priority. And that's, uh, yeah, going up very slowly. Where are... Oh, you're empty. This one has a few beavers. We've got some over here as well. I suppose we could pause another one of these buildings here. Don't need any more scrap metal right now. Oh, right. You guys are... Hold on a second. We are going to have problems over here. 100%. Do those platforms first before you do the levees because... Someone is going to get hurt over there. Okay. Um... Water bumps, I mean, we're pretty full. What are you up to? You're carrying stuff. Probably because the uh, containers are, are pretty full. So why don't we pause a couple more? That leaves us with four extra jobs. Okay, you can be relocated as well. So pause you. I do want to delete you as well. Okay, here we go. Never mind. We don't have time to wait, I'm afraid. And then this one, hmm, yep, let's, uh, or shall we? If we get rid of this tree, we can do another container over here. Feels like we are wasting a bit of space in here. Okay, anyways, uh, another container. That's a lovely spot in here, isn't it? Yep, I've put a um, sort of platforms in here as well in the anticipation that we are going to have some floods in the future. All right, so platforms are in. That is lovely. And now you can start actually constructing up. And I think you are going to be highest. Okay. Oh, these ones are not adjacent. So that's something to keep in mind when setting up automation is everything. Hold on a second. Did we save up enough water over here? Yes, we did. Okay, then things are good. What about these little rivers are fine. You are a okay as well. Uh, 5.8 days, so that's not too bad. This one is paused, and you are, well, you're automated, so that's good as well. Let's just check the uh, river. Well, it's not as full as we want it to be. Yeah, this is why we need some automation. Once this gets, gets built as well, we can automatically release water from this area. And not the alarm, but the stream gauge is what we what we want somewhere around here. Okay, here we go. And then once this area is built, we'll have to link them all and set them up individually. Okay, so there we go. That one's going up uh, very, very soon. We're not too far from it. A uh, few spare beavers. Oh yeah, these are coming from the water stations. And finally, okay, why don't we give them a little bit of time to catch up with all those jobs? And then we'll come back as soon as this area is fully built. All right, so there we go. I think we're pretty much done. There's just one roof left over here. We have to give you a slightly higher priority as well. And then there was a couple of fences. All right, so this one can be unpaused because we've got the trees in place now. We don't have to worry about having no access, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's looking lovely. Forester can be paused, and I think we have quite a few beavers that don't really have anything to do in here. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at those fences real quick. 
and we'll connect you up like so these guys i guess we are gonna clean this up a little bit then uh, something like so we'll leave a few trees along the side over here just a few for um, decoration purposes i suppose couple more from here and you guys are supposed to go as well so okay right there we go then the rest of it is gonna be kind of similar what we did on the other side uh, let's just tidy this up a few more roads as well there we go everything's looking a little bit more lovely I think in the future what we can do is let's not waste the the green space I think we should try and build more of those houses on stilts and on the on the water yeah we could have done this here already but that's okay a few first ones can be over here and then what we'll do is i think around this river over here this is what's going to be our town center because that's where the village first started it's this river that brings us both the the, the food and uh, the power as well and uh yeah we'll do like a our food storage is production areas, everything around this river. And then uh, as we start heading out towards the farms, uh, things will get a bit more sort of distant and smaller scale as well. So it's, yeah, like a little friendly neighborhood or a suburb. And uh, this one's still going. That's okay. Yep, we're uh, in no rush basically to get this all completed. Right, so there we go. The drought has finally ended and cycle 9 begins. I think we can be pretty happy with the progress so far. Our farming district is starting to take uh, shape. I'd like to just fix up this area. It feels a little empty and um, just plain over here. So these are lovely little hills, so we, we do need some decorations. Oh yeah, one thing as well. Let's just have a quick look at the at the swimming pool. This can fit here pretty uh, pretty nicely. Let's try it one more time. Oh, yep, that is lovely. So that's where it's going to go. We'll uh, tidy this up a little bit. And then the beavers can... Oh, hold on a second. I think we've got a bit of a problem here. I'm not really sure where this water has been going. It's not like we're pumping this out from here. Or are we? Is it that the... Um Double showers have started to use up the water, or or maybe it just really uh, disappeared. Um, we've lost the whole crop of canola and soybean, so maybe we do need to set up. Uh, I think we have some uh, yeah water alarms here. There are some areas where we definitely should set them up. So we are gonna do one over here because we are not paying attention at all. Anyways, back to the farming area. So pretty happy with the progress so far. Let's put a district center not district center well actually we do need that one as well but the district crossing point uh, somewhere over here and then uh, we can expand our farms and create a bit of a town center over here as well but i think that's gonna be it for this episode let's do those construction plans in the next one in the meanwhile thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon